Centre Pathology is based at Peterborough, but the trust includes five hospitals. So we have Peterborough City Hospital, we have Hinchinbrook Hospital, we have Stamford Hospital, Ely and Doddington Hospitals. So we cover a population of around about a million people. The pathology service is based for histopathology entirely at Peterborough, and we cover all of the histopathology samples that come in from the five different hospitals in the trust. The workload would justify around a dozen pathologists. So the department is pretty understaffed, not for want of funding. We have funding for all of our posts, but it's very difficult to recruit. We currently have five pathologists within the department, and most of us are generalists, but we do have areas of specialist interest. And my specialist interest is neuropathology, uh, although I also cover mainly gynae work as well. The department works collaboratively, and we double report quite a lot of malignant cases. However, with the number of consultant pathologists, we do need additional help, and that's where using AI comes into play, really. Using IBEX, what we've done is that we're, we're actually getting uh, the algorithm to do the primary reporting, flag up any areas uh, that we're interested in as far as, you know, is this cancer or isn't it? Then we will check and, and look and make our decision as to whether it's malignant or not. The AI facility also provides some uh, you know, feedback as to what Gleason score it is and other prognostic indicators and I use this as a sense check as to where we are on it. It seems to be very accurate uh, as, and it's got a really good uh, sensitivity. In 2015 I actually stood up in the foyer of the Houses of Parliament and said I did not see the point of digital histopathology, there was no way it could be as quick or as efficient as I was with glass at the time that changed. I think it's safe to say I'm now a born-again digital pathologist. And in March 2020, COVID happened and we went into lockdown. So the surgical pathology workload reduced dramatically during lockdown, which gave us a really good opportunity to validate our pathologists on the digital programme using the scanners that have been delivered two weeks after we went into lockdown. Digital gives us around a 10 to 15% saving in terms of time. We are around about 10, 15% quicker now. AI gives us that bit more. So with the prostate samples, it's quicker to do double reads, it's quicker to do primary reporting. From the limited experience we have so far with the breast platform, I think we're gonna save at least that much time reporting breast samples. It's been very, very uh, exciting really in that it's made the job of reporting prostates a lot more pleasurable in some respects. Uh, it's efficient and it has taken uh, the place of the second pathologist. But the way the IBEX platforms are set up, they're not designed to make a decision. It's designed to look for single pieces of information within a field of view and to point those items out to the pathologist to save you time rather than having to scan all the tissue to be able to focus in on the areas of interest. The confidence of knowing that if I call a breast biopsy benign and a quick check of the IBEX and it agrees with me, that really makes me a lot more secure, if you like, in the knowledge that I've given the right diagnosis. It's got a really good sensitivity. So that's reassuring in some respects because uh, as a pathologist, one's very aware of, of missing a, a malignancy. The one thing about using AI is that it doesn't fatigue either, and uh, we all fatigue as, as uh, doctors. It often picks up areas that I know I probably wouldn't have spotted uh, on just regular sort of glass or digital. I can say for sure that two pathologists in this department have not retired early because we got digital and because they're enjoying their work more. We've also managed to recruit at least two pathologists because we have digital available, either because they like the use of the technology, it makes their job more fun, but also because it gives us increased flexibility, people can work from home. It's actually become more pleasurable really because you get, I think you get less eye strain using the digital. It's also great for teaching and to pointing out uh, areas of interest to uh, non-medics or to your trainees. I was surprised by, by how easy the transition was. I can now present that level of confidence and safety in my reports without having to get a second pathologist to check everything that we do. We've got AI that can do that for us and it can do it more quickly as well. I think you just got to do it really. Uh, I think once you start using it, you won't want to go back.